Located at the entrance to the Old City, the Tower of David's Museum is one of the most impressive compounds in Jerusalem. Surprisingly, this place has nothing to do with King David. So what is the real meaning of it? And what does it hold inside? This beautiful citadel was established during the Middle Ages, but it has origins going all the way back to the first century. King Herod built three towers in this very spot. Only one survived the Great Jewish Revolt later that century. Elat, what can you tell us about this compound? Uh, the Tower of David is the ancient citadel of Jerusalem ever. From the Bible time till today, all the rulers of the city used to sit here. And now you can see the beauty of the past. This is the archaeological garden, the towers. And 30 years ago, the legendary mayor Teddy Kolek thought that this is the perfect place to open the Museum of the History of Jerusalem. So this is the only museum in the world dedicated to the rich, long history of Jerusalem. Where did it get the name Tower of David from? It's taking us back 2,000 years ago to the time of Josephus Flavius, the historian who wrote two books about that period. And he left a lot of information for us. And he's describing the city and telling us that the citadel of Jerusalem called Tower of David. And it's probably because that King David was always the symbol of Jerusalem. He's the king who established this city. And this place was so impressive, so it called after his name. And from that time till today, all the pilgrims call this place Tower of David and kept the name. From the rooftop of the Tower of David, we get a magnificent view of the old city of Jerusalem. But some of the most interesting findings here are located down below. Archaeologist Amit Rem from the Israeli Antiquities Authority explains. Shelby, when this pair of archaeologists started to excavate here in 1985, they revealed, they exposed something amazing. A system of large stairs cut in the rock and walls. And the stairs and the walls were covered by plaster. When archaeologists see this kind of plaster on the walls and on the stairs, it's a sign that it holds water. And we are facing some kind of installation, maybe a cistern, we do not know. As they continue to excavate on the bottom of the stairs and on the floor of this bizarre installation, they saw right here ceramic and coins dating to the time of Herod the King, Herod the Great, meaning the second half of the first century BC, around the era little bit before Christ. Still, they didn't quite understand what they are excavating. So they decided to enlarge the excavation toward the south. Let's go check it out. Please. Six layers of history can be found here at the Kishla. Dating as far back as the Iron Age, the archaeological findings go all the way through to the British Mandate in the beginning of the 20th century. But perhaps one of its most important moments in history is its possible connection to the story of Jesus' final days. Inside the Kishla excavation, it's very famous in ancient history as part of the trial of Jesus. What happened here? Oh, this is a very fascinating subject because inside the Kishle excavation, we expose part of Herod Palace. Now, this was one of the beautiful buildings in Jerusalem of the Second Temple time. The famous historian Josephus Flavius at some point even said that the beauty of Herod Palace rose above the Temple Mount. Now, in, in, among the schoolers, there is a theory, only theory, claiming that the actual palace of Herod was the Praetorium. The Praetorium is the place of the sentence where Jesus was trialed by the Roman governor Pontius Pilate. Excavations at the site have been going on for decades. A difficult and challenging task working in one of the most significant areas for the three main monotheistic religions. In the end of the excavation, 
when I was standing up there viewing all the results of the excavation and I saw everything before my eyes clean and obvious, then I understand. It was a very powerful moment for me. I understand that I made history, that I contribute to the puzzle of ancient Jerusalem. The museum opened its doors in 1989 after years of excavation and renovation. From its rooftop, one can see a panoramic view of the city of gold, the heart of religion and spirituality for millions around the world.